choose your method and why. We're into week four of the month, and therefore talking about things related to nutrition, the eating side of it, the side we often struggle with a little bit more. After all, exercise, whilst not always easy and potentially time consuming, is fairly straightforward. If we're not doing sessions, the answer is to do sessions. Eating is something that happens to some degree all day, every day, and has so many variables around it that it can be much harder to make lasting change. And often underpinning the reason that people struggle to make those changes is they feel that they need to do a particular method consistently all the time. They feel they need to never snack or to cut out certain food groups. And the second they feel that can't or won't happen, they feel that they've failed and that they should just essentially stop making any changes only to start again next week, next month, etc. And if that approach works for you, awesome. If not, it's sometimes useful to have a selection of methods at our disposal to help us achieve that particular goal. And the important thing to remember is what that method needs to help occur. There is an expression that methods are many, principles are few, methods often change, principles never do. The principle that needs to occur for us to lose weight is to be in an average sustained calorie deficit. And our selection of method to allow that to happen is entirely up to us. Until someone can show that in a confirmed deficit where energy in versus energy out is controlled to plus or minus 20 calories a day which can be done that they don't lose weight in a deficit or don't gain weight in a surplus or their method of choice when energy matched makes any difference to the speed of that then I'm more than happy to say we just need to pick a method that creates that deficit whether it is tracking the numbers behind it whether it is more habitual it's entirely up to us if it's enabling us to create that deficit and we're working towards our goal over time or it's enabling whatever other boxes need to be ticked for us to get where we want to get to, I would be astounded if at the same time it was adversely affecting our health in any way. If we're eating in a way that is getting us closer to a health and fitness goal, then that's awesome. Don't listen to anyone that tells you that a different method is better or should be done instead. Over the course of the next four days, I'm gonna cover four main methods that you may choose from, that you may mix and match. But the important thing to remember, again, is that methods often change, principles never do. We need to have a method that allows us to create that principle of an average calorie deficit if weight loss is our goal, or whatever other boxes need to be ticked if we have a different goal.